Good morning, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Thursday, November 2nd at 1125 a.m. Mountain Time, 2017, you're looking at the geologic map of Alabama. Why? Because the 10th earthquake of 2017 was detected in North Alabama, and we just had an 11th. Now, is that significant? Yes. Alabama usually has one earthquake every 36 days or so. They've had three earthquakes in one month, which is three times the normal amount. Let's come over to the seismic uh, chart here at the USGS, and you'll see that the inner craton in North America is reacting today. We have motion here in the New Madrid. We have the typical frac quakes. Guys, these frac quakes are not from real motion. They're called from swelling of the earth. What they're doing here is they're pumping. It's called deep water well injection, wastewater injection. And they're, deep, they're pumping wastewater deep into the earth, miles deep, typically five miles or deeper. That causes the surface to swell and then crack and release small quakes up to five magnitude. Similar things are happening here in the Appalachians. We're going to go over some faults today. I'm going to talk about these Alabama quakes, these Georgia quakes, Kentucky quakes, and the New Madrid quakes, and what's going on. If we come up over into this area, um, we can put on seven days, all magnitude U.S., and see the seismic activity for the week. Now... If we negate Oklahoma City, because <laughs> that really has nothing to do with what we're talking about, we have the real seismic activity. There is an uptick here in the New Madrid zone. We're staying at about nine events a week in Appalachia, New Madrid. So this is still continuing, and it's continuing to increase more, meaning there's more Appalachian movement than New Madrid movement. This is a very uh, rare seismic uptick. Not that rare or dangerous because the seismicity in this area typically is not that deadly. It's the seismicity in this area we want to watch for. There's a lot of slow slip going on in seven days here. So we're going to be watching for maybe a, a 4.5 or a 4 magnitude to be coming out of this region before we would post a warning. And that has not happened. Let's talk about the Alabama earthquakes. They're all around two, one to two magnitude. And we can come see the location of it here. Haleyville, south of Haleyville. So South Haleyville is in the northern part of Alabama here. Northwestern Alabama. And we're going to talk about what the relationship of that is uh, to the rest of the country. So it's up here where this purple line meets the green. So let's talk about the geology real quick. These green strips that move east-west and light green, and then it turns to blue, and then pink, tan, orange, these are the recent sediments from the coastal plain here. These are called coastal plain sediments, and they're caused by different sea level events or outwash events. So this is the recent history in all the coastal sediments. What's exposed here is called the Appalachian Basement Rock. These are the folded rocks of the Appalachians, and these are between 400 and a billion, 400 million and 1 billion years old, depending on where you are in the Appalachians. And then you have the inner craton, which are flat-lying sedimentary rocks that are younger and overlying these basement rocks that are folded, starting at Ordovician in age and getting older. So these can be from 600 million years to 200 million years old all the way through the dinosaurs. And the earthquakes are happening in this area. So let's quick talk about the seismicity of the southeast. These are all of the earthquakes since 1962 in the southeast. You can see it goes all the way up into Pennsylvania here. But there's a cluster here in South Carolina called the South Carolina Seismic Zone. A massive amount in the Southern Appalachian Seismic Zone. And then we've got a large number of earthquakes in this lightning bolt here of the New Madrid seismic zone. And what's happening is there's, these are the major faults in North America. Let's come down here. There's a major fault that runs along the East Coast in front of the Appalachians. There's another fault line that runs 
in the back line of the Appalachians, and this connects to the New Madrid zone through a curve here. And those quakes that are in South Haleyville are right here where the conjunction of all these, these two zones are. This is where the conjunction is in Haleyville. So there is a relationship to this seismicity. And if we see movement on any of these zones, they're interrelated. So we, that's a heads up for you. If you see activity in the Southern Appalachian seismic zone, it might be related to the New Madrid zone moving. <clears throat> we don't have a lot of data for what happened back on the giant quake in 1811 and 1812. There were two quakes. If it were to happen today, it would be catastrophic loss of life in that area in the New Madrid zone. And this is the nuclear facilities. So what I want to point out here is there's two nuke zones in this high seismic zone in South Carolina. So if you live in this area, that's a heads up. You, and you can get out. It might be good planning to not be in this area. And then there are four nuke zones, uh, nuke sites out here. These are nuclear power plants also in high seismic activities in the San Andreas area. And that's a no-brainer. If you live near there and you can get out, I would get out. I'll leave you links to all these, all these maps, and this seismic hazard map here, which we've already talked about in other videos, but it's just nice to look at to see where you are, give you peace of mind. There's also a map coming out uh, from uh, someone's thesis here. These are the major rift zones. If that interests you, you can look at that map. And then all the seismic activity since 1962. There's another heads up. So, folks, I did the video because we've had some interesting seismic activity here in uh, the East Coast. Uh, specifically, we're talking about Alabama here. Here's two quakes in less than a week. This is very rare. This is over 200% the normal amount of earthquakes here. And you can just see how many earthquakes happening in Appalachia today. So, we've got strange things afoot in the seismic arenas in the U.S., uh, but this is all expected and we're documenting it. And that's why I have the, uh, that's why I wanted to have this channel so that we can un we can watch together the science unfold before our very eyes. And this is related to cosmic effects. So we're actually documenting the effects of the cosmic effects of climate change on Earth. And these Earth changes have never been documented this way because no one's using the models we're using. So I'm doing this for human history, for posterity, and for those of you out there that have questions, we're learning together. Be safe.